Welcome to Dental and Ayurveda, a channel for basic dental and basic Ayurvedic sciences. Our today's chapter is Astringent, a chapter of Dental Pharmacology BDS. Before proceeding, I would like to thank you all for your support and this chapter ke ready to read notes available in our Instagram page pe, jiska link given in the description box. Mein. So today I am going to talk about astringents. So basically astringents are used to lower the excretion or exudation of the superficial cells. And how did how they do that? By precipitating the proteins in the superficial cells. And then it becomes hardened. So actions of insoluble layer of precipitated proteins. You can see that so uh, insoluble layer ban jati hai, precipitated proteins ki. What are the actions of that layer? So, the first action is that it is going to delay the absorption from the surface and then it is going to also resist the bacterial attack. Then, you know, form like forms, a, it is going to form a protective coating over the underlying tissue against the, all the irritants. And what all the uses about, if I talk about the uses, then these are, it can be used as hemostatics. That means, it's a hemostatic action. Hota hai. They are applied on any bleeding surface, jo bhi hai, maha pe hum apply kar, kar sakte. so it is going to promote clotting by precipitating the blood proteins. And then it is also used as mummifying agents. Then, two types of astringents are there. First, First is vegetable astringents. Under vegetable astringents, you can see first is tannic acid. So, it is going to act as an active astringent and it, it is also going to precipitate the proteins and gelatin as tannates owing to its own like acid radical. Then it hardens the superficial cells. That is that ki superficial cells ko hard kar dega and it is going to form the pellicle on them. And then it is like slightly antiseptic. Bhi hota hai. It's albuminous pre precipitate resists any bacterial growth. Then actions you can see uh, any absorption of toxins. It is going to prevent and it is going to reduce mucus secretion. Protective coating form karega. Inflammatory reaction decrease karega. And retard the exuberant granulation also. Then you can see that it is available as 3 to 5 percent lotion which is which can be used as astringent mouthwash obtundent or mummifying agents uh, then we have astringent dentifrices also and hemostatic so at present iska use jo hai wo hum nahi karte hai because of its hepatic toxicity on absorption then we have katechu so this is if i talk about its actions are similar hote to that of tannic acid and it is used as astringent mouthwash then second type is metallic astringents the first comes is your al alum so it is available as 1 to 2 percent uh, solution then it has astringent antiseptic and hemostatic properties Tino hai. then powder alum jo hota hai, it is applied on cotton wool to to the gum as a hemostatic then it may be used as astringent mouthwash is ko astringent mouthwash ki, wash ki tarah bhi use kar sakte to harden the gums or for any inflamed and ulcerated gums then copper sulfate this is available as astringent mouthwash in strength of like half to 2 percent 0.5 to 2 percent then it is also used to treat any indolent ulcers take a gums mein jo ulcer ho jate unko bhi treat kar sakte or to syringe pyria pockets then we talk about zinc chloride. So zinc chloride jo hai aapko, it is available as 5 to 10 percent solution. Then it is a caustic astringent. Ye caustic hota hai. So it is useful for any ulcerative gingivitis or pyrrhea pockets and abscess ulcers also. Then you can see zinc sulfate. So zinc sulfate jo hai, it is available in strength of like 0 0.5 to 1 percent and Isi strength hum isko use karte. Then as astringent paint for mastoiditis. Then it is also used for you know mouthwash for stomatitis. Stomatitis ke liye mouthwash ki tarah bhi use kar sakte. Then you can also use it you know as a lotion. You can also use it as a lotion for any chronic alveolar abscess. So iske zinc salt ke you know uh, one very good advantage of zinc salt is that it is uh, they do not stain the teeth 
आपके सो एडवांटेज इसका यह है कि टीथ पे कोई निशान या कोई स्टेन नहीं होते हैं जिंक से जिंक सॉल्ट से सो दिस इज द एडवांटेज एंड फेरिक क्लोराइड यू कैन सी दैट इट इज गोइंग टू स्टेन द टीथ इट इज रेयरली यूज एज ओरल एस्ट्रिंजेंट ऑल्सो नाउ लेड एसिटेट जो होता है इसमें इट इज यूज एज एन एस्ट्रिंजेंट ऑल्सो देन सिल्वर नाइट्रेट इफ आई टॉक अबाउट तो ये एक वीक एस्ट्रिंजेंट है एंड देन यू हैव मर्क्यूरिक क्लोराइड ऑल्सो which is also again a weak astringent so silver nitrate and mercury chloride are weak astringents thank you for watching do like share and subscribe if you found the video knowledgeable also let us know in the comment box what else videos we can make for you people